Okay, let's just briefly go through some of these chapters. This is chapter one in our MIS book by Bidgoli. He's a professor in the CSU system who's been teaching this book for quite a while. This is the 10th edition. So what this is all, what's this one gonna be about? Let's see. So what are the objectives? Just let's look at what are some common applications of computers and information systems. Let's get familiar with some of the terminology. What's computer literacy versus information literacy? We'll look at some of the kinds of information systems, some of the older old fashioned ones, some of the newer ones. What are some of the pieces of an information system? It's just like if we were studying anatomy, what are the pieces of the body? We'll look what's data. What's information? So this is a chapter one is a foundation and just gets us started. We'll look at some of the, you know, the importance of some of this stuff. It's incredibly important. So we'll look at the job market, how some companies are getting ahead of others and vice versa. What could make somebody fall behind? And then we'll look at the future of information systems. So that's, that's where we're starting. And again, I'm going to go fairly fast. There's about 30 slides. If you want to go really fast, you can speed me up to one and a half, but I speak pretty fast already. So let's just start with chapter one. There's so many ways where we use computers in daily life just to get into class. I mean, we are in an online class. We are telecommuting. We're all at home or wherever we feel like. Some of you are at the beach. Some of you are at your friend's house. Obviously, we're sharing videos and social network, and there's so many things you're buying from Amazon and they are not even having things in their warehouse. They're just being shipped from here to there. We're ordering things from all over the world. So let's see, how does this work? So there's a couple of things we're going to want, going to want to learn in this class. One is computer literacy. That's actually using some of the tools like in our case, Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, and um, PowerPoint. And there's many other software packages that'll do these things, but Pretty much, if you're going to go into the business environment, it's good to know what is Microsoft Excel. And then information literacies. Like, what do we do with all this? I mean, you don't want to just start building spreadsheets. And then you also want to know how to use, use the data that's in a spreadsheet or a database. Let's look at what happened, what's current now, and, and how can we help predict what where we're going. And this is where... A lot of the benefit is what products are about to be out of uh, out of date or out of stock. What do we need to have in order to have our manufacturing operations work? And on and on and on. In the hit, in the past, we've used what are called transaction processing systems. An example of this would be a cash register or a payroll system, basically showing what has happened, tracking all the tasks. And so this is something we've been using for, for decades. And that's cool. We need that to get our data. Checking in, checking out. Um, books in a bookstore, whatever. That's called a TPS or a transaction, just dealing with the transactions. But we want to start seeing what can we do with that. That's generating data. Now we want to produce information that's, as you'll read in the chapter, so there's, there is some terminology to learn in this semester for sure so what helps what gives us useful information well it should be timely we don't need to know yesterday's weather it should be relevant to what we're doing and hopefully it's accurate and integrated so a lot of the pieces from one system come from somewhere else so there's again here's just some examples human resources transportation systems ordering from amazon so we deal with the finances, we deal with the logistics, we have to have someone to, sh to pack and ship the DMV. Maybe that's <laughs> that could be a bad example, but they're getting better. They're getting better as well. So again, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of summarizing what's in the chapter. Then I hope you will actually read the chapter, but this gives you the kind of lecture that we would have had in the classroom. And of course, then I would open it up for questions. So now, Later in the semester, we're going to learn about what are and who designs a management information system. This is not just computer programmers, business people, people using the system. So just like with a house, that's the example I'll use. What do we want? It? What's our objective? And then what's our some of the data? Um, like what's our budget? What's our timing and all this kind of thing? So what is important for people to be able to make decisions? 
is it maybe charts and graphs or audio or video who knows so each information system has several pieces we used to have a fifth one that would be the people but essentially we need data and we need a database the database is where we manipulate the data we can sort it and organize it and extract the pieces that we want like give me all the marketing students that are freshmen that came from so-and-so high school or whatever and then what do we do with that to produce what's meaningful for the, the end user and relevant and timely and all that data is just simply raw facts and figures a three is a piece of data we don't know what that means is that days on the market or ounces of a beverage or pounds or we don't know number of people names data doesn't mean anything until you start um manipulating it you know sales records we don't know what that means until you start sorting and summarizing and totaling so data can come from inside of a company data can come from outside of a company um, from the government from from financial institutions just general economics what's the unemployment rate what's the interest rate what's the inflation rate and things like that okay and then data we also want we say it has a time orientation so what did we get to get to where we are now and then let's see hmm, if this can help us predict the future and make some decisions predicting trends okay so i'm not going to cover every single thing here you can, you're going to read the chapter databases help us manage the data to create it to start with we will be doing this later in the semester organizing and managing and it's amazing what we can do with this so in, in our class in chapter three so we we take that out of order we go something like one two four five we start chapter three the same time we start microsoft access and for at least a quarter of the class that's what our focus will be will be databases manipulating and managing data and it may not sound that exciting to you but everybody every student in class ends up getting a really good idea of how a database is used and some of the power of using it so again back to information it's got to be it can't just be dumps of data it's got to be timely it's got to be relevant it has to be accurate and hopefully it'll fit with whatever else we're dealing with at the time so do we want graphs tables exception reports that's like showing don't give me every item in stock just give me those that their due date is going to expire in two days or something like that show me everything that uh, items on stock are less than um you know the optimal item quantity we have or show me things that are out of stock that we should have in stock so there's lots of different I mean, you can read about this but we should also be able to use other information obviously there's a lot of stuff on solving a problem that isn't necessarily coming out of the computer we'll study that too the higher level the higher up the level of the organization you go the less you know the less data that comes from inside you're going to start looking at what are some outside trends so there's lots and lots and lots of examples of information systems that right here or us or university students names ages genders and all that kind of stuff so we can start seeing through what's called a query query it means questioning qe means k or what inquire or inquiry question qua in french so we can start saying like well, what is our fastest growing major what's the average age which would stun you here at grossmont college it's closer to 28 than any other number that i've heard before um, and all kinds of other things forecasting models uh, so let's plan based on the trends let's hire people in that area again just there's so many so many different areas what i usually do in the classroom is we go around the room and you all give me a description so i'll be glad you're sitting home in your comfortable chair now or laying on your bed or whatever you're doing and you're not <laughs> i'm not pointing to you and asking you to give me an example okay um and there's so many different technologies we're using today and this is one that we'll focus on too of course of course of course we're using the internet but i'm going to ask you a question right now and i'll ask it later in the semester um for one early question was the internet designed to handle all the things we're putting on it today the answer is no it never was it was only designed to share some text messages and 
than emails and things like this. And we've added a lot to it, you know, a lot. So let me ask you a really important question that hopefully never becomes that important in your life. But what if, what if the internet stopped? What if just the internet was shut down for a week? What could you not do? And think about it. It gets pretty scary. It's just, you know, you can't use your debit card. You can't buy anything. You can't phone anybody. Uh, your bank wouldn't work. Your again, just think about that for a minute. That's why a lot of people are, you know, we do prepare. Stock your house with a bunch of stuff and have some cash and some water and all that. So a lot of technologies, point of sale systems. That's basically a cash register, database tracking all sorts of stuff. Some of them we don't want to even know about. RFID tags. So there's like ID, ID tags in a lot of expensive items. There's so many technologies. And again, this is week one. So we're going to move into this. Um, timely, relevant, and accurate information. Of course, the higher up you are in a company, well, there's, there's different levels we'll get into, but um, we're managing our manpower, our equipment, and the, the raw goods we have. And the money we have so i mean there's lots of resources and again this class is not just hardware and software but it is about business too we'll talk about personnel systems or human resource systems there's logistical systems to like a ups would use or a military or a costco or an amazon so when i'm redu when i'm when i am transporting materials we can do it efficiently uh, manufacturing it's amazing. I've got some videos you'll see late, late, later in the semester about how, like how cars are built. It's incredible how computer chips are built. You know, what should we store in inventory? Financial systems, marketing systems. There's so many things. Again, you can pause this anytime and read it too. Um, the different marketing technologies. This is changing all the time. In fact, we have a wonderful class called Social Media and internet marketing that's an amazing career for some of you too we'll look at the job market and i would click on this right now and you can do it in canvas you can download and look at this um, powerpoint and if i go where are the best jobs in the usa today this is not just computer jobs it goes down to things like dentist and hr manager but some of the top jobs java developer data scientist where we do have a certificate at Grossman College in data science and then there's some of them may not even make much sense enterprise architect devops engineer but you see a lot of these deal with computers with some pretty good amounts of money here the job openings are pretty large dentists can make a lot of money too but that's a lot of work to become a dentist so this talks about the top 50 attorneys realtors so anyway, you can take your, spend your own time looking at this. Oops. Okay. Chief technology officers, chief privacy officers. There's many, many, many different positions here. Programming, systems design, web design. We teach all of this, except right now robotics. We teach all of these at Grossmont College. And then this is just the higher up the mark the management level you work um, manager systems analyst these are the ones that actually design the systems kind of like an architect then there's networkers and that's combined today with cybersecurity, database administrators so and then of course computer programmers we have an incredible staff teaching programming we have very bright people and excellent webmaster web web development courses here and all of these things, just, just ask yourself this question. Are these jobs going to decrease in importance or are they going to increase in, in importance? We're looking right now at a cloud architect certificate or something like that. Search engine optimization. How do you get your web pages found? And on and on and on. So there's lots of jobs out there. The predictions, of course, costs are going down for hardware and software. Costs are going down. Artificial intelligence or AI is improving and expanding. People are getting smarter. So one, another thing I want you to realize, it's not just the classmates that you're competing with. It's people from all around the world. They're getting better and better 
and smarter and they're willing to work harder than most of us <laughs> so personal computers are getting more and more powerful uh, internet is going to keep growing and growing criminals are getting more and more sophisticated so it's just an exciting place to be some trends we're looking at smart machines and devices and like like we say cloud computing that's that's a relatively new thing where people like you don't even have the software downloaded it's just out there in the cloud like all the google applications security a lot of things are changing so let's move on anyway you're gonna just you can review this to your heart's content i don't want to make these go too long there's lots of different jobs out there and that's it